I'm going to try to get through all these images in about five minutes. There's a famous museum in Paris. It is called the Musée d'Orsay. It has a uh, Moore statue in it, and that's the one you're looking at right here. And um, here is a different angle of the same statue, and there's another. These people are described as Moors. Uh, here's another image of a Moor that you will find in Europe. Here is a Moorish flag. Notice the um, way they are depicted as black. Notice the headbands. Here is another image in Europe of a black Moor. And here is another statue. The four gentlemen at the bottom are the Moors. The man at the top was one of the Christian conquerors. Uh, that was a, a statue in Livonia. It is called Plaza de Cuatro More. That means the four Moors. Okay, and there you have that image again. Here's another one. It's called an old statue of an African man, Moor. There it is. He is a black man. He's an African man. He's described as a Moor. He's not white. Here's another. It's called uh, the, the it's various statues here. This one that is called Moor is the only one that they went out of the way to carefully depict it as black. Black. Okay, here's another one. Clearly Negro. Uh, this is in the Netherlands. This is the Morian. It equals the Moor. It's an age-old icon of hotels, drugstores, and pharmacies all over the Netherlands. If the Moors were anything other than black, why are they going out of their way to depict them as clearly Negro in appearance? That's because that's what they were, even though there were non-black Moors. The U.S. Centers want to sway you by making you think that the black Moors were the minority, when in fact they were the majority. And they were the one to basically civilize Europe, and that's what they have a problem with. Here's another statue. These statues are referred to as Moors. This is a famous statue. We just call, refer to as the Four Moors. There are several statues with that title. All of them depict Negroes. Negro, these are black people. Look at the lips, look at the hair. A fool can see that they are Negroes. Here's another famous statue. It is called the Four Moors as well. There's an interesting story behind this. And that is that uh, these Negroes were actually um, models. They were slaves. And there are two slaves that were used to uh, craft this particular statue. And they were promised their freedom if they would pose for this statue. But they're not portraying slaves. That's what the Eurocentrists would like for you to believe. They are portraying Moors. That's why the statue is called the Four Moors. Okay? Because this was done after the fact. It's celebrating a time when basically these Moorish pirates basically invaded. And this was the uh, white person, the uh, leader who conquered them. Okay? So these were not slaves that were captured. These were Moors that were captured. And that's what this depicts. And to, de to deny this is displaying remarkable stupidity, ignorance, and a lack of knowledge. And of course, the Euro centrists are going to centrists are going to do it anyway. Here are Moors leaders. These are not slaves, as the Euro centrists would like you to believe. That why would they be given such place of regal attire and honor if that was the case? Here is another Moor, which is also in the museum, also portrayed as black. In that same museum in Paris, they all are for the most part. And there goes some more. Now you can find some images of non-black Moors, of course. And you can find these cer certainly find images of uh, lighter skinned Moors because of the interbreeding that was done. This one is called a sultan with a tiger. Do you know what a sultan is? This is a sultan. And he is not white. This is a black man. This is a negro. And he, the, here are four Moors as well. Okay, there's a history behind that. And they, you know, they want to tell you that the uh, people that invaded were Berbers. But see, they want to, they're trying to uh, Shanghai the term Berber just like there are Moors and everything else. Modern Berbers. These are ancient Libyans known as Labu uh, Meshwesh and later as Moors. These are Negroes. And, well, that's another story there. That's another thing they've hijacked, but we're not going to deal with that right now. Here is a uh, famous image as well of a Moor. And here are some more. This is called the bus of a sheik. Not slave. These are sheikhs. That's what this is. This is a sheikh. That's what not, that's the title of this. Bust of a sheikh. Also in Europe. All of these images are in Europe. Another Negro there. Here's the uh, four Moors as well. Here's a crest. The Corsican flag, actually. These are uh, depicted as Caucasian. This is a Negro. Corsican flag. It's still there today. Here's a Morris head. Also a Negro. Uh, this is the famous bar. This is a bar where people go and uh, basically get drunk. Morris head. Free house. Also, Negro. Look at the crown. That's because they were the leaders. Here are Moors as well that have been uh, captured. And is these again, this is called the Fountain, Fontana for More, meaning the four Moors, the Moors Fountain. Here it is again, clearly Negro. There you go. Fontana de Cuatro More. There it is, black. And again, Fountain of the Four Moors. And there you have it again, Fountain of the Four Moors. These are also just totally different uh, statue. Those are black as well. Here we have again the same Negroes. Crest of Coburg in Germany, also black Moors, and here you have the flag of Sardinia, black. There you have it again, and again, and again. Always Negroes, because that is, in fact, predominantly, there you go, Moors, black. That's what they were.